Okay, this is essentially a newbie guide for Bitcoin and Litecoin mining. I only started this about a week ago and it has taken me some amount of time to figure out the Litecoin configuration. Um, but this this is for newbies, if you've got experience this won't be any use to you. Um, so I'm going to start with Lamp browser. First thing we need to do is get a, a Bitcoin wallet. You could just use the Bitcoin main wallet or a multi bit. So I will go with multi bit. Because for the, the miner, the Bitmint or miner, this is the one they recommend. Fairly straightforward. The computer is going slow for some reason. Um, yeah, so here we are, there's a multi bit. So you just download it here. Mac, Linux, or Windows. I'm not going to because I've already got it. Um, so download that, install it, and then you'll have something like this. This is it open. Um, nothing too spectacular. Down here it might say synchronizing. Uh, so just wait for that to synchronize. You don't need to do anything with it. Next. Okay, for Bitcoin mining, pool mining is definitely recommended. You can solo, but unless you spend maybe $20,000 on the latest technology, it's not going to be worthwhile. So go for a pool. And the easiest pool is definitely, for beginners, is definitely um, Bitminter. So just type in Bitminter, here we go. Because this is very user friendly and honestly a retard could understand it. Um, so you just register and it's quite convenient. You can register with any of your Google account or all that other crap. So once you've registered, um, you just click on this start button to download. And that is it. Once that downloads, well, there's eh. So you download that and it'll be in your downloads folder. I've got a shortcut here just for convenience. I might put it there automatically, I can't remember. Anyway, that's what it looked like. Bitminter.jnlp. I'm not sure what that stands for. Open that up. And this really is simple. It's Compared to the other programs, it's, it's just retardedly easy. Now, I bought three USB block adapters, and as you can see, it automatically recognizes them. But you have to download a driver, but you only have to download it once and then it's done. So just do a Google search USB block adapter driver. Um, don't know exactly what it is, but they're easy to find. Um, there it is. And, uh, these drivers, here we go. This is the driver you need. Um, so it would be this one for Windows. Oh no. Yeah, that's right. So download that, install it, and then your block adapters will be recognised. As you can see, Icarus. Um, and it's just a case of you press play. Um, I don't bother with my graphics card because it's, it's just a cheap one. I'm upgrading it soon, but if I did turn it on, you would see it's, it's really slow. Oh, I forgot. I'm Litecoin mining just now, so my graphics card is used for that but I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, so there you go, it should be up to about a thousand or one gigahertz, gigahertz per second which is still pretty useless as you can see there's 0 0.0013 per day and that's if I had it running 24 hours a day which I don't because I don't have a fan to cool them down so I let them run for an hour and then let them cool down um, if, if you're doing this for profit, this you need to spend a lot of money 
to get fast enough technology and the reality is you're unlikely to recoup that money in any time less than a year and that's assuming that they don't make even better technology <laughs> so this is not really for profit and um, this is more for a hobby and um, the reason I'm doing it is because who knows maybe bitcoins will be worth six figures one day and I don't really want to buy them but if I, buy, I mine them you know it's, it works in the background I don't need to worry um, about well, about anything really it just works in the background USB adapters use next to no electricity um, yeah and they cost me £10 each on eBay so it's not a huge investment Considering a, a decent graphics card will cost you a good few hundred pounds. So yeah, so that's that running. Don't need to do anything. Just minimise that. Now for Bitcoin, this is a bit trickier. I've had a lot of problems with this, but what worked for me in the easiest way is definitely... Actually, before going to uh, Litecoin, um, this is an absolute essential tool. It's called Notepad Plus. Notepad Plus. There we go. This is just amazing. Once you're on this page, here's the latest version. Just click on that and download it. It's free. And I'll show you what that does now. Say, for example, we're using CG Miner for Litecoin mining. If you just click on CG Miner execute, nothing will happen. Um, so you need to make a configure file so that it knows what to do, basically. Um, so what you do first, say for example, say if I try to open this uh, with Windows, let's see. Okay, it won't open it. You need to click, right click, and rename to a text file. But with Notepad, see there's Notepad Plus there. Right click, edit with Notepad Plus, and it opens it. There's, so you don't have the hassle of renaming it to a text file and then renaming it back to a configuration file. I don't know why Windows doesn't have a native facility for this, but you know. Might work with Microsoft. So anyway, here's a configure file. Um, right. So first, you make a text file. Join a pool. This is a Litecoin pool, so I join Coinatron. That's the URL. You make a username and you make a password. Now, because my graphics card is terrible, um, yeah, you can see the work size that could be, I think, could be multiple of 64, so what, 128256. Because it's Litecoin, the kernel is script. Look up, Gabba, it's, it's not important. Shaders for my graphics card is 80 GP threaded one script. I don't know if that's needed after. Um, so that's that's the configuration file. So what you would do is once you've written a CG minor dot text, you save as um, all files and then CG minor dot conf and then save. But I've already got a conf, so I won't do it. So that is that. Um, so that'll start up. So then you can click on CG minor dot exe. What I should have said is, you can mess around with these numbers if you've got a high-end graphics card. The intensity you can go up to 20, but if you put it to 20, your computer will crash, no matter how good your graphics card is. There is no exception to that rule. Um, I, I did it once, and I won't be doing it again, because <laughs> it's worried the case I lost everything on my computer. I wouldn't, don't put it to 20. Maximum, I think, I've heard of 18, but in reality it'll lag your computer, so what's the point for not much of a difference in hash rate? I would go with 13 maximum, 
and uh, you can just mess around. There's other uh, commands as well, but the way I see it, this works for me. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's my philosophy. So that's done. Then you can just click on that. Now this is running, but just to show you how it works. There we go. My graphics card is crap. I've ordered a new one and it's on the way. But in the meantime, here's my average. I guess about 14 kilohash per second, which is terrible. Um, it really is terrible. And that is pretty much it. There are other miners, BFG miner and GUI miner, but GUI miner does not. I can't get ASICs to work on it. BFG miner, I kind of got working, but not really. I tried a few things. Um, no, what I was trying to do with BFG miner was get CPU mining. Um, but it just would not work. It did something, I'm not sure what it did, but it just... CPU mining isn't worth it either. But I just wanted to try it out. And that's basically it. Easy as that. Right.